Armando Baker out here. It's Luke May. This is Tyler Hintz, bro. University of North Carolina. This is North Carolina. I just want to shout out my boy, J Bear underscore YT. J Bear underscore YT. This Carolina family, baby. Go Heels. Go Heels. What is up, boys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing another UNC recruit review. This is another basketball edition, and today we're going to be covering Brady Mannix, who is a graduate transfer from uh, Oklahoma. He played for the Sooners, Sooners, I should say, for four years. Um, this is his high school profile right here when he was in the class of 2017. He was an 81 grade, according to ESPN. Uh, 30, 30th overall, um, I guess, power forward. Didn't even say, oh, yeah, it does. Power forward in the country, number 18 in the in the region hmm, regional what the heck i'm not sure what region that encompasses but anyways and the number three player in the state of oklahoma Brady manic was a sharp shooter during his time at oklahoma fantastic uh three-point shooter and overall a really good player um over here in 24 7 sports he was uh number 117 in the nation number 27 at power four position and number two player in the state of Oklahoma. He over here he's listed at 67205. He's bigger since then. I think he's about 69 now. I think this said 69195. It says 67205. So honestly, who knows, but he's around 610 now, I believe. Over here he's listed at 67, so that's that's very interesting. But this again, this is a high school profile, so I probably grown a little bit since then. Uh, Three-star recruit over here, according to Rivals, 143rd in the nation. A couple other schools he could have attended to play basketball include Mercer, Oklahoma State, and Tulsa. But Oklahoma was the choice for him, the best option. And he outperformed probably what most people thought he would perform at the next level. Now he is a Tar Heel for the next year. Um, as for where I think his position on this team will be, I'd probably say... He'll probably be, I'm not sure, in and out maybe as, as starting power forward alongside Dawson Garcia. Whoever performs better is going to get that uh, starting four job. So who knows? He could be starting. He could be coming off the bench as like a sixth or seventh man type player. But either way, he's going to be a huge piece of this upcoming year's team. He really has a beautiful fast release. Uh, so right here, we're going to watch some of his highlights. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, slept on hoops where this came from through stadium of course uh, so shout out to them let's get right into watching some of these highlights here turn the that down all right let's see all right first play it's a little fuzzy sorry about that but finishing at the rim for his first play typically known as a three-point uh, shooting type guy there's a mid-range shot look at just look how quick his release is that's so fast from catching the ball to releasing through the hoop is really quite i don't want to say it's elite uh speed with a shot but it's pretty darn good and fast and you can tell you can tell it's fluid and really repeatable so that's really exciting me about his three-point uh, potential there there's another one these are his junior year uh, highlights by the way i think he averaged like 5th 12 or so 13 or so something like that good a good dime there good lay-in screen pick and pop there it is. And he's a part of uh, some pretty good Oklahoma teams. And one of those included the Trey Young year. He was on that team as well. I was like, Look how fast that is. Well, I've seen Brady Manning play a couple times, like, like just watching games and stuff. I, I never really picked up how quick his release was. I mean, that is insane. It's a really pure shot for like a 6 9 ish big man. Yeah, man, that's good stuff. That is good stuff. Okay, in the post, kind of just heaving that one up, but he gets it to go through. Nice. Good pass there. I want to see that pass one more time. That was a good pass. That was a good pass. To find Brady Manic. Oh, okay, there he is, driving to the hoop and finishing at the rim with the thunder. Don't see mu that much out of uh, Brady Manic. Also, I although I have seen some practice clips where Brady Manic has been throwing it down a good bit so what he's 6'9 obviously 
Okay, there it is. Good shot there against a good Wichita State team. Wide open. Such a quick and fluid release. I can't even say that enough. I'm going to start thinking of a comparison. I, I don't know why I keep doing these and not thinking of comparisons. So, so from now on, I'm going to be thinking of comparisons when I talk about these guys of future Tar Heels. And if, there, I, if I feel there's no one that really encompasses him, I'll just go with um, someone else in, around the sport. Oh, man. I want to... You guys know what I probably want to say. Yeah, man. You guys know what I want to say. Uh, a pretty tall, uh, uh, small ball five or four that can stretch the floor and play a little bit inside as well. Future Tar Heel, former NCAA hero Luke May. I think that might end up being my comparison. Obviously, he's only going to be here for one year. And he, I mean, obviously, it's fair to assume that he's not going to put the production that Luke May had. But just looking at how he plays, that's probably the best I got. He shoots more than Luke May did. He's more of a three-point shooter than Luke May was. Uh, Luke May was slightly more of an inside game player. But still, you can see the comparisons here. My goodness. That is, that's a good shot, man. That is a really clean shot. Yeah, man. If he gets faster and stronger like he has been trying to do at Carolina and, and keeps that shot down, I don't know, man. I, I could see him being a really, really good piece on like a, maybe a G League roster. That, that is such a quick release, man. Yeah, so Brady Manic. Another, another quick release there. Good shot. Good drive to the basket there and the thunder, which I like to see. There it is again. Okay, we're getting a little more uh, throwing down the hammer now. Okay, good shot again. My goodness, they're leaving a wide open. That's like three in, the, in a row from the same spot in the same game. My goodness. Oh, I, I, this might be the game he went off for 30. I remember one game he went off uh, uh, for 30. I believe it actually was Oklahoma State. He had like seven or so threes. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That step back. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to go back on that. That that step back was beautiful. Bro, if Brady Mann can just every once in a while, if for whatever reason Carolina can't score, he can just uh, come in there and just drop double digits whenever we need, to, need him to. He's going to be a huge piece. Like I haven't talked much about uh, ACC basketball this year or college basketball in general because it's not quite that time yet. But boy, when it gets to that time, I think Carolina's going to be really high up in those preseason rankings for me. And obviously you could say that's biased, but... I mean, they got really good pieces. Good returning players. All right, there he is. Oh, down low yet again. Brady Manick. There's another three in the corner. Yeah, bro, this is... Well, I know these are just highlights, but you know what I'm saying? That is one of the most pure shots that I've ever seen from a big man, though, bro. That's crazy. I'm really excited about this upcoming season for the Tar Heels. Because as we know, Tar Heel football, looking pretty atrocious right now. Oh, man, I think everyone bought Mac needs to be fired. But anyways, this is not a football video. Talking about Brady Manic here. There it is. Manic knocking down shots like it's nothing. I'm not sure what a three-point percentage was in college, but it has to be pretty high. There he is more in the in the post game. But man, that, that's a guy who can be tough to guard, bro, because he has to. Like, obviously, you know he's trying to get three-pointers. That's his main game. But that's not all he can do, so you got to be able to uh, play some tough uh, tough D there. But anyways, guys, that is it. That is Brady Manick, uh, a power forward for this year for Carolina, possible starter. 
Let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you guys, guys in the next one. Peace.